what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to make some handles. I'm going to start off by wedging my clay. Make sure it's a nice, smooth, even mixture. And then I would take a small amount and I would shape it into a carrot-shaped coil. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a handle that is uh, pre-made, bent, and we allow it to get leather hard before we attach it, as opposed to there are other methods where you can use uh, to make a handle directly on a mug and pull it. But for a beginner, this is a nice way to learn. So I'm going to make a handle by again making a carrot kind of shape. And if you gently twist those ends opposite, it helps you to keep it somewhat round. If you are making uh, handles for say like two cups, I would do a minimum of say three handles, three to four handles, because inevitably you have one or two that are better than the others. So for my students, always make extra handles. Okay. Once I get my carrot made, then I'm going to be shaping them and storing them on a tray. Okay, I have three cups that I need to handle, so I'm going to make four handles. Okay, so there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now take my handle and I'm going to just smack it down and I'm going to use a wet sponge and I'm going to make kind of a fake pulled handle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the big fat end and I'm going to press down, so I'm pressing down with my index finger and then side to side with my thumb and my second finger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of sculpt this as I'm pulling up on the big fat end. Then I'm going to wet my fingers in some water. And I'm going to just kind of smooth it out and pull it. Okay. And then I'm going to set it on something plastic so it can keep its form. And let's do that again. All right, I'm going to smack it down. I'm now going to add a little bit of water to my sponge. And I'm going to press down on the top and the sides. And I'm going to pull up on the, the fatter end. And that does help to stretch it a little bit. And then I'm going to just add a little water. And I kind of clean up the sides. Again, I'll place it on something plastic. The reason I use a plastic tray is because if I use a wooden wear board, it'll dry it out some. Next. Now, this is an acquired skill for my students. You know, be patient. If you just keep practicing all these steps, it'll come. All right. I always smooth out the sides, and then I'll bend it around, and I'll set it on my tray. Again. And then one more. And for my students, we can use those plastic trays that are in the classroom, or you can use a, a plastic bat. Just don't put it directly on wood. Now already, you can see this one is not so desirable, because it has a couple chunks there. I might be able to fix that with a little bit of water here, kind of pressing it with my thumb on the side. There we go. And that looks much better already. Okay. And that's how you make a fake pulled handle.